In this video, I will show you how to color the rows based on a cell value. If you don't practice this, you'll forget it. So why don't you download the practice file from the description given below. Notice that I changed the division name and all the rows which contain that division name is getting highlighted. To apply this trick successfully, we must learn some logics. What we're trying to do here is compare this cell value with each of the cells that are there under the division. And if they are equal, then accordingly, all the rows should be highlighted. In short, the decisions are made by this yellow cell and all the individual values, but the application is to the entire row. To achieve this, I have to write a formula in the conditional formatting such that the cell G1, which is pointing towards the yellow cell, is individually compared to the cell E4, E5, and so on. Do note that in that case, this yellow cell should not move from its original position. However, the fourth cell, E4, should then move towards E5, then towards E6, then towards E7, and so on. To make this happen, I need to ensure that the dollar before 4 is not applied. However, the dollar before E, which refers to this column, should be applied, so that this comparison never moves to the other cells of the row. The comparison should always be between the yellow cell and the values in the column E. Now I know this may sound a little confusing, but let's do it once to understand how is this achieved. If you like this trick, why don't you check out our entire library? Click on the link in the description below to get full access. First, I choose all the individual row items, excluding the header. Then I go to Format. I go to Conditional Formatting. Now, since there is already one rule applied, let me remove the existing rule and start afresh. I click on Add Another Rule. Next, in the format cells, I choose the custom formula. The reason why we are choosing this custom formula is because the color must be applied to the entire row. However, the decision should be taken by only one cell. Now, I go to the box where I need to write a formula. The formula should be such that the answer is in true or false. So let me write a logical statement. I write equal to, writing dollar $G dollar $1. This refers to the yellow cell on the top. Is that equal to, and need to select the cell E4. So let me write E4. However, I need to ensure that the comparison is only for column E, and therefore it should not move. At the same time, the row number 4 is free to move down 4, 5, and 6, and 7. That is how it is currently able to compare ED from the cell E10 and ED from the cell E12. This is a slightly advanced form of custom formula in conditional formatting, and of course you can change the color from the panel below. There you go. Just be careful about the dollar. And once you've done it, just click on Done, and you're free to choose the value from the dropdown and get a perfect tracking mechanism to highlight the rows. 